G'day everyone, in this video let me show you how to change the color of an object from this to this or any other color you want in Photoshop. My name is Hoi and I make tutorials on Photoshop and Illustrator. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to this video and hit the bell icon so you can get notified for when the next video is out. I'll be using this photo from Pixabay. If you want to follow along, just click the link in the description below. Once you've got it downloaded, go to File, Open, navigate to the folder that you've saved the image under, click on the image and press OK. Now I've got it open already, so I'm going to cancel out of that. The first step is to make a selection of what you want to change the color of. In our case, it's the red armchair. So go to your object selection tool here. If you can't find it or another icon is showing, press long press this, which is press your mouse button, hold, hold, hold. Make sure object selection tool is selected. New selection is checked. Object finder is checked. And over here, there are a couple of options of how you want to make the selection. If I click on that chevron there, it gives you two options. The first option is using your own device to make that selection. It will result in a quicker selection, but it may not be as good as the second option, which is the cloud option. The cloud option utilizes Adobe's cloud to make the selection. It might take a little bit longer, but it will provide a more detailed result. Once you've made that selection, hover over your picture and the objects that Photoshop has found will be outlined in pink. Now, if that doesn't work, just click on the refresh button and it should refresh the objects in the picture. You can also see all the objects that's selected by clicking on this button here, and that will show you everything that Photoshop has found. Now, we don't wanna color everything in the photo, otherwise everything will be in red. So I'm just going to check that off and come to the chair and click once. Photoshop's going to have a think about it and it made a selection. Now the selection is pretty good except for one little detail. In the selection, it's also included the cushion. So what that means is that the cushion will also change color when we change the color of the armchair. So with your object selection tool still selected, Go up here to select the subtract from selection and then go back to the cushion. You know the cushion is selected because it's got the pink outline around it. Click once on it. Photoshop will have a think about it and then it'll make its selection. Once we've made that selection, we're going to make a group by clicking here and then making a mask by clicking here. Now, the reason why we've made a group and putting the mask alongside the group is that we're going to make a couple of new layers, adjustment layers, that will utilize the same mask. Now, if you're going to make a lot of adjustment layers and make a lot of masks to go with those layers, you might making 10, 20, 30 individual masks. So by putting the mask inside a group, everything inside that group will only utilize that one mask, saving you having to edit and make all these multiple masks. The next step is to select your color that you want to change the armchair to. Click on the adjustment layer icon here, get a solid color, and I'm just going to move my color picker from my other screen down. And you can see that I've got yellow selected. That's because I was using yellow before this. You might have another color, so just pick any color you want. I'm going to pick the purple-ish color that you saw in the intro, something like this, and then press OK. As you can see, it's not a great picture. It's very flat, and it's basically a blob in the shape of the armchair. What we need to do is to change the blend mode from normal to color. And what color does is takes the luminosity of the original red layer and applies the new hue and saturation, in our case, the purple, to the new image. Whereas normal blend mode 
will simply take the new hue, the new saturation, and the new luminosity of the color that you've chosen, in our case, the purple, and just apply it to the shape, which is why we see a flat image now. So I'm just going to reselect color. And for some of you, you might look at this picture and say it's done. But for others, you might want to adjust how bright the couch is now. To do that, create another adjustment layer by clicking the adjustment layer icon, go up to levels, click once on that, and you see this panel here. If you don't see this properties panel, go to window, scroll down to property, and make sure you have a check mark against it. If you don't, uh, simply click on it. Now this applies to any panel that you see on the screen. If you don't have it, simply scroll to any of the panel options here and clicking on it. Now to adjust the brightness level, we're gonna use these three sliders here. The one on the left controls the brightness level of the shadows. So if I move that to the right, the chair will become darker. The middle one controls the brightness level or the luminosity of the midtones. The one on the right controls the brightness level of the highlights. So what we're gonna do now is simply adjust it to our liking, something like this and something like that. And we're almost there. But some of you, those who have been paying attention, might have seen that the mask isn't quite right. So if I scroll in this area by pressing option and pushing the scroll wheel on my mouse up, you'll see that the purple has bled into the leaf of the plant. To fix that, simply go to your mask, clicking once, you know that the mask is selected because it has a white outline. Now go to the brush tool and you can see that the brush tool is a bit bigger than what we need. To control the brush size, I'm gonna press the left bracket key on my keyboard, which is next to the P key on North American keyboards. Something like that would do. You want a brush size that's a tiny bit smaller than what the area that you wanna adjust. Alternatively, you can adjust the brush size by clicking this chevron here and then moving this slider to the right. You can also control the hardness or how define the edge of the brush is by selecting and moving this slider. If I move it all the way to the left, the hardness is zero, which means that the edge of the brush will be very soft. If I move it to the right, it will be very defined. I'm just going to make my size of the brush around about eight pixels and then hit enter. The next step is to make sure you have black as your foreground color. Now to make sure you have that, press D on your keyboard and you have the color palette here. At the moment, my foreground color is white. My background color is black. I want the background color as my foreground color. So I can either click this arrow here or pressing X on my keyboard. So with black selected, my brush tool selected and my mask selected, I can now go into the picture and just paint that out. If you've accidentally painted over more than you should, now I'm exaggerating for effect, and I might just change the color of the armchair so you can see the effect better. Go back to my mask, and I'm gonna select white as my foreground color by switching this. With my mask selected, I'm gonna paint over that to make sure that I only reveal the color in the areas that I want. I'm gonna press Command zero to fit the image to screen. And there you have it, how to change color of an object in Photoshop. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get notified for when the next video is out.